Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. Today's video is super fun. It's unlike anything I've really ever done before on my channel. And I'm going to be recreating like famous Pinterest outfits, outfits that are just like iconic to Pinterest. But the thing about Pinterest is I usually only see like super skinny girls on there, like, you know, size two, size four, pretty much just like the same body type over and over again. And I just wanted to kind of see what these outfits would look like on someone with my body type, more of a mid-size body type. Um, I'm like a 14, 16, so just seeing if these outfits still look just as cute on moi. But before we get to all that, I'm gonna need you to hit that subscribe button. Red button says subscribe, I'm gonna need you to hit it. We have a lot of fun here on my channel doing makeup, food, fashion, thrifting, anything you could ever want. And I think we're like 20 away from 500 subscribers and I'm gonna be doing a big skincare and makeup giveaway at 10, 10,000 subscribers. We're not there yet. 500 subscribers. So make sure you hit that subscribe button and if you enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Both of those things would really help me out and I would really appreciate it. So let's get on to recreating these Pinterest looks. Okay, the first look I recreated, I feel like is the quintessential like Pinterest look. I don't know, these this these two girls that are in this picture, I see all over Pinterest. They like must have had a photo shoot and like taken a bunch of pictures in these outfits because these outfits are all over Pinterest and I felt like this was so iconic that I had to recreate it. So let's watch the footage from when I recreated the outfit and tried to recreate the photo as well. All right guys, so we're here with the first outfit. We got the sunglasses, the sweatshirt, the little shirt underneath, little skirty skirt, black shoes. We're ready to go. I'm just having trouble deciding where I wanna have this little photo shoot because in the picture, like, they're on a road with like a cornfield across the street. I don't got any cornfields here. I live like in a city, so. I underestimated how hard this was gonna be with self-timer. I'm struggling. <sighs> All right, after about 100 tries, I think we got the pick. Let's go investigate. Okay, so here is the picture. Here's the final product for the like sweatshirt skirt outfit. I mean, I wish I had more of a similar background, but I think that I kind of encapsulated what they were going for. I honestly think I did okay with like the editing and everything. I think this one turned out pretty good. So I thought this outfit was super, super cute. This is definitely an outfit that I would wear. I think it's such a trendy outfit right now. Who knows if it'll be cute in two years, you know what I mean? But it's definitely hot right now. Um, this is when I realized that this wasn't gonna be so easy. It was actually really, really hard to recreate this photo, um, especially by myself because I was just using self-timer. And that's when I realized that this was going to be a little bit harder than I thought it was gonna be um, trying to recreate these photos so spot on. But I didn't wanna give up. I wanted to see what I could do. I wanted to try my best. Um, but yeah, definitely love this outfit. I think this outfit particularly will look great on any body type. Yeah, this, this outfit, it's just, it's gonna be great for everyone. The next outfit stood out to me because it showed the Bermuda short trend that kind of was coming back in this summer. I don't know, the whole vibe of the picture was like very Pinteresty to me. So I definitely wanted to recreate it. Let's see how I did. Okay, so outfit number two is here. We have a Bermuda short moment. These are thrifted um, with a little bodysuit. This is from Misguided, I believe. The collared shirt is thrifted, and the shoes are Buffalo London. Um, I'm about to do this photo shoot in the middle of my street, so and I live on like a blind corner, um, so you might see me get run over live, so let's just let's see what happens. not working out not working out 
All right, I think we're gonna have to drive to a different spot because this is not giving me life right now and we just need to mix it up. Okay, I drove to like a somewhat empty parking lot, um, but people are like picking up their dry cleaning and stuff. So I'm definitely gonna have a show, I'm giving these people a show right now with my photo shoot, but like it's what these, it's what the people need. I'm giving the people what they need. All right, I think we got it. So this outfit was pretty fun to recreate. I actually really, really like the Bermuda short trend. Also, I'm like five foot. So you can definitely tell looking at our two pictures like how different the Bermuda shorts look on us. Like mine almost go down to my knees, whereas hers are more like mid thigh. But I really like how this picture turned out and I think the outfit was so cute. I really like how it looked on me. I didn't have a little like bra top like she did, so I just went with a bodysuit, but I think it turned out really cute. And this this might be one of my favorite pictures. I think it turned out really, really well. I don't know, I just, I really like it. Let me know what you guys think. This next outfit and picture, I thought were gonna be like so easy because they're kind of simple. Here it is. Um, just kind of like a black bandeau, jeans, and a leather jacket. I was like, oh. The picture's so simple, literally just raise your arms, like it'll be fine, it'll be so easy. But I don't know why I thought this was all gonna be so easy with self timer, but I just did. So uh, let's look at that footage right now. Okay, so here we are with outfit number three. Um, leather jacket I thrifted, um, little tube top things from Fashion Nova, glasses from Free People, jeans from American Eagle, and heels from Depop. Sun's kind of looking cute right now, but it might be leaving weird shadows, so let's just hope we can get something. The current setup. <laughs> All right, guys, I think we got it. It's also 72 degrees out here and I'm wearing a leather jacket, so I think it's time to call it quits for this outfit. <laughs> So this is another one that I actually am pretty happy with how it turned out. Um, the background, I wish it was plain, but I was just trying to get that direct sunlight that she has in this picture. So I took the L with the background in order to get the lighting right. But as for the outfit, another one that's just super cute. I don't, I don't know what it is about it, if it's the leather jacket, if it's the sunglasses, I don't know. Like, just the whole vibe is really cute and maybe not something I would normally pick out. I, don't know if I've ever worn that little bandeau top that I have. This one's particularly interesting to see, I think, in a different body type because, you know, she has like the abs going on and like you can tell I don't have the abs going on, but it still looks super cute, you know, on a different body type. So I think that's why it's important to do videos like this to like actually show what an outfit would look like maybe on someone who isn't you know size zero or whatever okay this next one i i don't really know if it's that um big on pinterest but i just really um liked it it really called my name and i wanted to see if i could recreate it because the green is like you know it's iconic it's so unique I don't even know how to describe it. I just really like wearing green. So I wanted to see if I could make this photo work. So let's look at how I did. All right guys, outfit three is here. Okay, so green has quickly become one of my favorite colors in 2020. I don't know why, I think it's just because it's so weird. So this outfit is everything to me. Like I would wear this any day, any time, any year. So this is actually my grandma's turtleneck and then some thrifted pants from I don't know where, but green on green. I have a green purse. The green purse is from a brand called JW Pay or something like that. And I'm living. I'm so excited for this photo. <laughs> okay, I think we need to do a lot of editing, but we think we might have gotten it. So, I just don't think I chose the right outfit for this. Um, mine's like a really toned down version of hers. Her outfit was very fitted and more of like a lime green, whereas my outfit was more baggy and like chartreuse greens. 
but it's still like a cool photo it's just kind of a different take on it I would say it's not super super similar I didn't do the best job of recreating this one but you know still cute this I was having a really hard time with the lighting with this one the indoor picture definitely are harder to get the lighting right than the outdoor pictures I don't know the lighting for this one and the next one like uh, it was just so hard to get right so I think that's also why it's off a little bit but you know what I did my best okay and then the next photo is just such a hot trend right now with the sweater vests and the like turtleneck underneath I thought this encapsulated a lot of trends with like the chains and everything so I wanted to recreate this one for sure so let's see how it went okay this might be my favorite outfit so far sweater vest long sleeve white shirt some chains the same bag as the other outfit and just some jeans I don't know I just think it's really cute very trendy right now and I'm here for it so let's see if we can get a picture similar to the one on Pinterest it's close it's getting close I don't know if we got it guys that one was really really hard to get the lighting right I don't know we'll see that one might not be the best but we'll see I was actually starting to get really frustrated with this picture again because I could not get the lighting right but here is what I got I think it's a really cool picture like on its own as like a standalone photo but I don't think it is exactly like hers I just really needed a person to photograph me. I should have like hired a freaking photographer or something because doing this on self timer was so hard and like I almost had a breakdown trying to get this picture because it was so hard. But I actually do like seeing it side by side with hers. Like, you know, I have bigger arms, a bigger chest, like bigger legs, but I still think the outfit looks so cute. I really like seeing it on me. That sounds so weird. <laughs> But I do like how the outfit looks on me. I'm not gonna lie. You know, it's a different take on the photo. But it's this isn't about the photo. It's about the outfit. So I do really like the outfit. I felt confident in it. I was like, ooh, this is cute. Definitely something I would wear in the real world. And maybe my favorite outfit out of the whole situation. All right, guys. Those are all of the outfits that I recreated. Um, you guys have to let me know your favorite. I'll pop them up right now to give you one last look. Yeah, what was your favorite outfit or your favorite photo? Uh, I already insted one from the very first outfit, but I might do another one. So let me know which one you, sh you think I should do. Again, I just wanted this video to show everyone that you can rock these outfits regardless of the size. Pinterest definitely needs to do a better job of promoting fashion pictures of women of color and women of different sizes because all of these basically were just, you know, really thin white women. So I would love to see more representation on that platform for sure. But this shows that you can rock these outfits literally regardless of what you look like. Wear what you want because it is your life and don't. I hate fashion rules like no white jeans after whatever day like stuff like that don't listen to it like saying pastels are a spring color no wear the pastels wear the pastels like the rules are so stupid you only live once so wear literally whatever you want regardless of what other people think period but that is all I have for you guys today so make sure to subscribe and hit that thumbs up button again both of those things would really help me out and I really appreciate it and I hope you enjoyed this video so stay on fleek friends bye